Hi, I'm Ben Conniff and I'm the president of Luke's Lobster. Right now I'm going to show you how to break down a whole steamed lobster. So the first thing we're going to do is pull off the claws. To get these claws off, you just want to basically grab them and pull them this way and they'll just come right off. Then we're going to pull off the tail. The easiest way to break this tail off, one hand on the body, one hand on the tail and just twist in opposite directions like so and again it just breaks off nice and easy. Then I'm going to show you how to break into each of these claws and knuckles to get the meat out. So there's a piece of cartilage right in the fattest part of the claw. It's connected to this thumb and what we're hoping to do is pull that cartilage out without disrupting the meat. So the best way to do that is to pull the thumb back like this very slowly and then just slowly work it out and there it comes. Now you're going to remove the knuckles and then you want to crack into this using your standard lobster cracker or if you don't have that, a rock or a hammer or anything you can find. I'm just going to crack it in a few places to make it as easy as possible. And now you just take it apart by hand, pull out some nice sizable chunks here. Now we're going to go after the knuckle, crack it in a few places so that it's easy to break open. You want to be careful here, there are some spiky parts of these knuckles and claws and you don't want to cut yourself, so just keep an eye on what you're doing. And it's time to turn to the tail. The easiest way to get it out is to pull off these fins and just put your thumb right into the hole that you create by doing that. Find the meat and just push on it. As you push, you will see the tail meat all come out the other end. And there you go. You have a nice entire piece of tail meat there. You can take each one of these individual legs off, bite on it, and basically suck out meat as you go all the way through all these legs. I recommend serving this with nothing more than a little bit of melted butter with lemon squeezed into it. Dip that lobster in and go ahead and eat it. There's a lot of other ways to use that meat. And our favorite, obviously, is to make a lobster roll with the knuckle and claws. Hey guys, I'm Nell Casey, the food editor at Gothamist. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more delectable videos, and let us know in the comments where in New York City you'd like to see us film next. I'll catch you all on the flip side.